Hello, everybody, Flint from Flint and Still Survival, bringing this video in kind of a new location. I figured this backdrop was a little nicer than that wood grain you guys are used to. Uh, so a few things to explain first. I am now a GearBest affiliate. That does not mean they're sending me free product yet. We have to prove that my community is good enough to be given free stuff. So I know you are. You know you are. So let's just prove it to them. So we're going to do a video on items I purchased myself. Um, like I said, nothing in this video is free from them. Um, down below, as always, you'll see my affiliate link if you'd like to make any purchases from GearBest and feel like supporting this channel and my efforts. Uh, go ahead and hit that link and do all your shopping as soon as you're there. Um, and you're going to be fine because as soon as you click that link, it tracks you from that point on to whatever you want to shop for. Computers, knives, whatever. Um, and that's how we can get more and more free product for this channel. And as I made a promise, I am giving away the things that they give me for free. And in this time, just to make sure to sweeten the deal, I will be giving away two out of three knives. And uh, I also have one uh, accessory I bought. So, one lucky winner will win both, that way it makes it easy. I've been in and out of Kansas a lot lately, so I didn't want to have to uh, ship two separate packages. My life will be much, much easier without that headache. So we're going to start, this is a blank box. As you can see, there's nothing on the black box other than the GearBest label. This is the box that showed up in the best condition, the other two are completely trashed. Uh, it's got foam in the bottom little Johnny bag. So this is simply titled the Liner Lock Folding Knife with G10 handle. Light gray. Even though to me this is more of a tan than a gray. Beautiful jimping. Flathead hardware. G10 handles. Um, the material is 7CR17 MOV. Beautiful steel here. Um, I really, really enjoy it. It's got a razor blade sharp edge. Uh, as I said, G10 handle. It's claiming to have planed bearing surface finish um, on the bearings, obviously. Liner lock, as you can see. Nice pocket clip. Beautiful backspacer. Really thick. Um, eight or 58 to 60 Rockwell is the claim on this. So I brought out my measuring equipment because instead of converting, I'm like, I'll just measure on film and you guys are going to get a better idea anyway. So it looks like 6.440 thick. Um, your handle width is going to be in the one and a quarter ballpark at the thickest spot here. Um, your blade width one and a quarter. Your blade length you're looking at three and five eighths. Um, all the way to the handle, but if you look, uh, it kind of goes a little below that, so it's a nice big handle. Uh, we'll just get the ruler out for overall, make it easier. Looks like eight and three quarters overall. Um, I am a sucker for large backspacers like that. I really like them, especially when they're G10. So now I'm going to show you a little bit of action, a little bit of cutting, and we'll move on to the next one. This is one of the knives in the giveaway. Hard to argue, right? So, drop that back in the box. Oh, and your options on this are, you can find them in black, gray, and orange handle. Gray is, like I said, more of a tan than a straight gray. Next up, we will do the Jin Jun Lang Knives and Tools. Uh, this does have a brand on the box. You also have your GearBest label. Both sides have the little lock thing on it. As you can see, this came in an envelope, all these knives. So this box is absolutely hammered. But one thing I did not expect when I ordered this knife was obviously this pouch. Oh, I forgot. This knife right here I wrote the price down. Um, 11.60. No, 13.60 something. Um, but as you know, prices change on GearBest all the time. This knife, however, is six dollars and thirty-two cents. 
Uh, it is in the pouch, in a Johnny bag, in the box. And as I said, June Lang. Um, when I ordered it, I ordered the 16010A, and this knife is marked the 010B. Uh, it comes in three variations. You've got the black, you've got it's all black. You've got what's considered white, which is all black handle with a stainless steel blade. And then you've got brown, which is the same exact knife, but all of this plastic here is brown instead of black, including the backspacer. All of that. Um, the handle is 8CR13 MOV in the metal parts as well as the blade and the clip and all hardware, but the all this right here that you see, that is a plastic. It's a resin of some sort. Um, so semi-auto quick opening feature so let me see if I can get a first try there you go so it opens that way but unlike the knife that this is modeled after it does not close that way no matter how fast I flick it, how hard I flick it I'm thinking if I had done some tuning to this knife I can get it to drop shut uh, but it just doesn't seem to want to. You can also use your thumb stud. Um, and then I do not recommend trying to use the flipper because it gives you like nothing in there. Like You can see where the flipper is. There is nothing to flip. And you just can't flick it hard enough to get it to come up over that uh, closing feature. So that is also your lock. I'm sure you knew. Um, pocket clip does go all the way up and around uh, you could put a lanyard in there but I would worry about it hitting on that spring that you see there that controls the entire mechanism uh, and that might affect your use this is seven and three quarters inch overall let's see what our blade length is and it's a Tonto so it looks like three and just shy of a quarter so we're going to go with a 3 inch blade because you do lose a little bit to that sharpening choil. I do like the blood filler that it's got in there. Hopefully this knife's not too hard to see on the black on black on black with the background, you know. So there's the other knife up for the giveaway. So I'll put, oh, you need your cut test. Hold. Nothing wrong at all for a $6 and some cents knife. I just cut up my price sheet, so I have no idea how much it was. Hopefully this video is not dragging on too long for you. I do often worry about that. If I can get it back in its Johnny bag. Sorry for jostling you guys around. <laughs> Unpause my video. So this is the accessory I told you about. I got this as a beard comb. Let me flip over the page. So my price for this was $3.14. It is supposedly a 5CR13 MOV stainless uh, in silver color. Comes in that little bag and it is sealed. Um, you can tell the cuts are not all even. I don't know if they're supposed to be. It is actually very sharp on the end, so if you were using this for your head, um, I don't know if it would work very well if you have short hair. I mean, I have short hair. If you're careful with it, it's fine, but um, 35 grams, so it's actually pretty heavy for a comb. Uh, I got it for a beard, and for that, it works absolutely perfect. I do want to make it like a pocket sheath where it goes in there next to something so that I can carry it a little bit easier. And... Uh, I guess you guys want your cut test, right? Ah, uh, sorry, it doesn't cut. I mean, it'll probably tear. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. So I bought that for myself. I, I guess I can give you some specs, huh? So you're looking at... Point, it's a 5 8 inch thick. Wait, wait, wait. No, sorry. 0.067. 5A, that's bad. Um, this little ring 
for your finger or a lanyard or something is three quarters of an inch. Um, as you can see, you've got big, four little, big, four little, big, four little. Um, that is your tine spacing, kind of like forks, I guess. And then overall, five and a half inches. So that's not bad at all. It's perfect for travel. Especially if you're checking a bag, then it's not going to set off your metal detectors or make them check your bag for a sharp item. Um, I'm real excited about taking that on my next trip out of town. Drop that over there. And then last but not least, and this is the knife I am keeping, uh, I absolutely fell in love with it. So the box, once again, came in an envelope, was not good. So grab the pouch out, and then I'll read you the box. So from what I can tell, the brand here is supposed to be Lion Knives, because it's got a lion here and there, and that's what its logo is. The best or nothing. <laughs> now, while this is not the best at all, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. So we are not only the designers of the product, but also users of the product. Scope of application is outdoor survival, mountaineering, camping, outdoor sports, tools as gifts, military enthusiasts, and collection, which is where it's going for me. I really like this pouch and honestly that's most of the reason I'm keeping this one. Uh, other than the belt loop is starting to peel away a little bit already and fray. It's kind of funny. I haven't carried this anywhere or done anything with it. It's sat in the box waiting for this review. Velcro. And here is the monster. So this is called on gear best SR593A pocket liner lock folding knife blah 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 the shape and style reminds me of the Lansky world legal uh, blade that they have but obviously this is not that it does have a deep carry pocket clip which I do really like it's got that nice sharp um, choil or no um, pommel on it uh, you've got your two-tone g10 handles my price for this was eleven dollars and twenty one cents and I will leave a link, like I said, to all these knives specifically, plus my regular affiliate link down below if you'd like to buy one of these for yourself. They do take PayPal, which is something that I absolutely love because I would not give my credit card info out to foreign companies. I like to use PayPal. Um, black G10 on one side, black G10 with green G10 on the other. Um, it's got this nice sweeping spine. Let me show you the action on it. So it is possible to get it in one try with the flipper. There you go. It just does take quite a bit of effort. And that's one of the main reasons this one's not going anywhere either is because I'm just not completely satisfied with the action yet. Um, it does have some drop shut abilities. It is only riding on washers. I think they are nylon washers. Um, so that's why you don't just have that fly out. You can get it. Another thing I don't like about it is the fact that they put the stamping directly on the blade surface and it is raised. You can feel it. I mean, that's going to hinder cutting. That's going to hinder sharpening. Uh, so this one will probably just sit in the collection because I love big, giant, chunky knives. Um, four CR13 MOV on this blade. Uh, flipper and a slot for opening. It comes with thumb studs, but you're never in a million years going to get in there to be able to use those. There's just no room. So your other opening method, I don't know if you can see that, I'll bring it back here a little bit. You've got that slot that you can kind of finger flick. Um, but yeah, if this is actually a copy of another knife, not the Lansky, let me know. Uh, it does have that logo there, it's like an H, I don't know. That's what this reminds me of, so tell me if I'm wrong. Um, other than that, I think that's all I had to cover today. Uh, please, like I said, GearBest is going to be looking at this video to see how it does to see if they want to send us free product. And as promised, if they send me anything for free, it goes straight to you guys in giveaway. <coughs> and just to recap, the June Lang you saw, as well as the obvious clone knife here, um, these are both being given away. Just put I'm in in the comment section below. And if you saw anything here you'd like to purchase, all the links will be in the description below, as well as my regular affiliate link. Please show this video some love so I can continue this 
Um, I've already got one more set of four things ordered from GearBest and uh, once again I paid for those but I think that once they see this video and how well it does that we will get some free stuff to give you guys. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one. Bye.